tiny bubbles in the wine makes me happy, makes me feel fine. One of the biggest expenses facing growers is the cost of energy to heat their greenhouses. Hoop houses, commonly used in the Northeast, are relatively inexpensive, but extremely hard to heat. Our research was designed to determine energy use in a greenhouse fitted with an energy curtain versus one insulated with soap bubbles. Each greenhouse was covered with a double layer of plastic. One greenhouse, our control, had air blown between the plastic layers. One was fitted with an energy curtain that was drawn across the top of the crop in the evening. The remaining greenhouse had a novel system that filled the void between the two layers of plastic with tiny soap bubbles. For our trials, we used three identical greenhouses in a commercial facility. Each house had the same furnace and the same crops were grown. The soap bubble system is relatively simple and consists of five major components. Plastic storage tanks to hold the soap solution. A jet pump to draw the soap solution from the storage tanks and send it to what we call foam generators. An air pump to force air into the foam generators and the foam generators to produce the soap bubbles and a set of gutters to direct the soap solution back into the tanks. The foam generators are not complicated. Here is how they work. The jet pump forces the soap solution into a nozzle which is located on the inside of the foam generator. The little green nozzle. This nozzle produces a full cone spray pattern. The soap solution spray lands on the inside of the filter. Air is forced through this opening here into the foam generator and through the filter at the end. This filter is saturated with soap solution and as the air passes through tiny soap bubbles are produced and they stream out the end of the foam generator. So what can we conclude about the increased efficiency of these two insulation systems? Compared to the control or uninsulated greenhouse, the bubble house used an average of 40 percent less energy to heat the actual cost savings in our case was about $800 to $900 per year using natural gas, but these savings would likely be four times greater for propane and twice as much for fuel oil. Thermal curtains are a woven aluminized material that can be pulled out or closed at night just above the plants to trap thermal heat and reduce the amount of space that needs to be heated. The curtains can also be closed during hot sunny days to shade and cool the bench area. The curtain installed in our test greenhouse was of the slope flat slope design. The curtain is installed on rails and cables and is retracted in sections when not in use. An electric motor governed by a shade stat controller turns on to slowly start the opening or retracting process. The controller can use either a timer or a photocell to time the opening or closing of the curtain. The curtain moves slowly, which is particularly important on cold winter mornings when cold air is trapped above the curtain, thus preventing the cold air from rushing down onto the plants all at one time. 
Use of the bubble insulation technology can reduce energy consumption for heating by approximately 40%, depending on the outside ambient temperatures, and the energy or thermal curtain by 25-30% to 30%, compared to a standard double-layer plastic hoop house. These systems are fully automated and can operate by themselves. Either system can also be used to shade and cool the greenhouse in the summer months, adding to their versatility and cost-effectiveness. Presently, however, the bubble insulation system is not yet in commercial production and the cost is expensive. Although the energy or thermal curtain is initially less costly, the payback period may not be much less than the bubble system due to its lower energy savings. Once set up and running, we found that the energy curtain didn't require the constant monitoring that the bubble system required. One drawback that we found with the curtain system is that it partially or fully prohibits the placement of hanging baskets above the benches, causing a less efficient use of space. We've identified several aspects of the bubble system that needed further development and devised fixes for most of these issues, but the system still needs further fine-tuning and development to make it completely user-friendly. The user needs to be proficient in carpentry, plumbing, and electrical work, and the system needs daily monitoring to ensure that everything remains operational. Tiny bubbles in the wine Makes me happy Makes me feel fine 